Philadelphia, beautiful architecture, beautiful town. You know it for its Philly cheesesteaks. Yeah, but what about its pizza? What's up, Pizza Holics? I'm in the city of brotherly love. Philly, baby. South Philly at a place called Bedia. Weird place. Located on this industrial alley. This whole neighborhood is like a gentrified industrial meatpacking district area or something like that. Anyways, guys, I got some pizza in my hands. Let's go eat. Let me tell you something, guys. Don't come to Philadelphia on Monday if you plan on going on a food crawl because everything is closed. All the top places, all the institutions, the famous places, or at least most of them are closed on Monday. I, I originally came to Philadelphia to go to Tacanelli's, you know, the famous Tacanelli's, closed. Then I wanted to get a cheesecake at John's Roast Pork, closed. Then I wanted to go to Angelo's to get a Sicilian, closed. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? What do people do? Uh, on Mondays in Philly. I guess they all cook or something or go to places that are open. And luckily I found one here, guys. Bedia, Pizzeria Bedia. Interesting place in an interesting neighborhood. Uh, I got this thing open, baby, airing it out a little bit. It is right out of the oven. It smells delicious. It looks like it's right up my alley. Right up my alley. Grated cheese all over the place. Nice color on the crust. It definitely feels light. Feels great. Nice crackling on the fold. Look at that. Nice exterior crunch. Fluffy center. We are off to a good start based on the way it looks and the way it feels. Uh, I don't know about the undercarriage though. Little floppy. Little floppy. Little floppy. Undercarriage looks a little perforated. Looks like there's perforations in the dough. Good flavor in the sauce. All right, guys, let's move into the lab. Pizzeria Bedia. Looks wonderful. It looks right up my alley. And I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I was, I was expecting more, though. I was expecting... Uh, it to really knock me out of my car seat because I saw all that grated cheese, man, and I was like, yeah. You know me, I like salty pizza, guys. Look at all those shards of grated cheese, Parmigiano, Grana Padana, I don't know, Pecorino, not sure, but nice, funky grated cheese, an abundance of it scattered on the pie. You got the herbs. I smelled that oregano as soon as I opened up the box. Nice kick from that Sicilian oregano, according to their menu, guys. Wild Sicilian oregano. You know how much I love the wild Sicilian oregano. It's really good. It's pungent, very aromatic. Uh, I've had it before on, uh, on, on the pizza over at Sauce in Manhattan. Now, uh, you know, the, the, the cheese was delicious and fresh, as you can see. Look how nice and white. It's not that plasticky fresh mozzarella, you know what I mean? It's not that plasticky fresh mutts. No, 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 no. It is some pretty damn good mutts. And there's a lot of it on there. A lot of sauce. It never dries up. Look at all that sauce, guys. Even towards the back, it's never dry. A little dark. Perhaps a little dark, but uh, it never really tasted overly sweet or too... A uh, little robust, but not too sweet. And uh, it, it felt like there was some garlic, a heavy garlic presence in that sauce. That's what it felt like. I'm not reading off an ingredients list, guys, but the sauce didn't taste like they just put uh, raw tomato sauce on this pizza. And that's it, just pure tomato. I think it may be a simmered sauce because I got some really heavy notes of garlic. And I'm not complaining. However... 
I have some issues with the crust, guys. And even towards the back, you may get some exterior crunch when you get towards the well done areas. See that? Good exterior crunch. Uh, the interior is nice and light and airy and fluffy. Uh, but that's about it. The rest of the pizza is just, uh, it's not only not crispy, but it's a little soggy. And I think this dough cannot handle this monstrous topping of cheese and sauce on top of it. I think the dough can't really handle all that cheese and sauce. There's so much cheese on this pizza and sauce, which is a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful thing, guys. You know? It's just the dough can't handle it. You know what I mean? It's it's just too heavy for uh, the way this dough is engineered. It's not the tightest pizza either. You're going to get a lot of strings of trails of cheese as you separate the slices. A lot of cheese fell off the slice before. Here's another example. Pizza's not even entirely cold and it's, uh, you know, a piece of cheese slid off of that slice. But, uh, you know, the taste was really good. I enjoyed the taste. Now, you know, crisp, I don't really put too much factor into it, but when cheese is falling off of it and it's, you know, not not only is it just not crispy, but like the middle, when you get towards those first two bites, it's actually a little soggy. See how soggy that is? That's what pisses me off. And you know, it's not an authentic Neapolitan where the dough is nice and light. Uh, this, this dough has some crisp to it. And if it's crispy here, if it's gonna, if you're gonna have crisp towards the back, there should be crisp throughout. Can't deal with the sog. This pizza was in the box for two seconds. I watched him put it in the box. I took it out. I left the restaurant. My car was right, a hundred feet away. Again, the bottom is perforated. It looks like they put it on a, a bacon steel, or whatever they call it. They put it on a round, uh, perforated pan. <laughs> the taste of the bread was also a little off. A little off it had an aftertaste kind of like a uh, a bread sticky type aftertaste like when you know the taste you get when you're eating breadsticks it was just it was a little off it was a little off uh, but it wasn't the worst dough I've ever tasted uh, but far from the best all right guys it's about that time the pizza gets cold we give it another fold nice crisp towards the back but That, those first three bites are going to be soggy bites, guys. Soggy. The back of the crust is wet. Even the back of the crust is wet. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm going to, you know, when things start flopping, Antonio starts docking. Now look, if you love a pizza that's overtopped with cheese and lots of sauce and you don't care about that soggy crust... Uh, you're going to love this thing. And you know what? Perhaps this pizza is meant to be eaten at the restaurant. I, mean, I know it was in the box for, you know, for two seconds. Um, and certain pizzas like Best Pizza. Uh, you go to Best Pizza. Uh, you, you put that pizza in the box. You, walk, you can walk five miles back to your car. It's still going to be crispy uh, when you uh, eat it. The same goes for like Pizzeria Jove in Staten Island. Those crusts are so well made. They stay crispy even as they cool down. Uh, this pizza's not that. This pizza might be way better eaten in the restaurant. So whatever I score it now, you may like it better if you eat it in-house, which I didn't do. They were packed. You have to make reservations. The place was mobbed. So uh, I can't give this the 8. I want to. It looks like an 8. It looks like an 8. It's going to fall short of that. So I'm going 7-7 seven, seven on this thing. 7-7, seven, seven, absolutely delicious. The flavor was through the roof. Overtopped, perhaps. Uh, too much cheese, maybe. Maybe they got to scale it back. But hey, you're getting a lot of pizza for your money, guys. Pizzeria, bedia. That's a wrap. South Philadelphia, baby. I love coming here every once in a while. Every few months, I'll take a trip up down to uh, Philadelphia. A lot of nice restaurants, and it's a foodie city for sure. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Stick around, guys. Don't go anywhere. You think I'm going to go back to Staten Island without trying a cheesesteak? Come along. We're going to Maxie's Famous Cheesesteaks. 
let's go eat. So I decided to take the hoagie home with me. I had an hour and 15 minute drive back to Staten Island. It was getting late. And so I took it home and it traveled okay. I guess the steam from all that heat, uh, some grease seeped through, which was nice to see. But the steam from all that heat kind of made the bread a little soggy when I took it home. But the juices were nice and absorbed by that bread. And uh, the meat was never dry. My first... Uh, in my first fear when I opened up this sandwich was that the meat would be dry and tough, but it was nothing of the sort, man. It was nice and juicy, tender, nice spices on it, and you got to put those sweet peppers. You can get the hot peppers, or you can put sweet peppers, or you can mix them. In my case, I decided to go with some sweet peppers. It was delicious. The bread was soggy, and I think that bread is pretty good for this sandwich because... Uh, it's not too fluffy. You know, you're getting more meat than bread, and it, it's it's a perfect vessel for all that meat. And cheese, by the way. That's right. Uh, the thing with Max's is a lot of people think they put, uh, you know, they don't put enough cheese on it. And I don't mind that. I actually told them, just put provolone on one side of the bread. You know, I wanted it nice and light. I didn't want to freaking have a heart attack eating that thing. So, anyways, guys, Max's Cheese Steaks value for your buck philadelphia beautiful town and yeah good pizza really good pizza pizzeria badia i'd highly recommend it and i highly recommend uh taking a stroll through town and maybe taking some photos photogenic place that's for sure hope you enjoyed this one guys like share and sub until next time this is antonio signing off (laughs) 